Hope you're not thinking about jumping. Because if you do, I'm gonna have to come in after you. Not looking forward to that. Water's gonna be an ice bath. Oh, freezing my ass off. Here. Coffee will warm you up. Go on. No, I'm good. Yeah, your loss. Mmm. Coffee. Hey, City! Did you hear the one about the kittens who took over the boat? What? Oh, no. Roto, no. <laughs> he was a mutiny! <laughs> Roto, just stop it now, okay? I'm warning you. <laughs> God damn, man. <laughs> I despised a lot of them when I first got on board, but they grow on you. Like mold, they are. Nah, nah, sorry, that shit, isn't it? How long does it take? What, to warm to them? I'd say it takes uh, one year, three weeks, and six days. Before I joined up with Pete, my brother and I were cooped up in an old canning factory. Food for ages. A lot of fat and happy people. But then, a young girl got taken. We followed a trail. It wasn't hard with all the blood. Ended up cornering the people who took her in this warehouse. All ten of us went in. Only I came out. A few weeks later, I came across Pete, ways up the coast. He saw that look on my face and he offered me a job. Didn't ask any questions, didn't turn me away. Just welcomed me in. Pete's a good goddamn egg in a rotten world. Pete shouldn't be so trusting. People will always let you down. Not always, Michonne. Well, I think Berto's little routine is winding down so we can finally play cards. Care to join us? It'd be nice to have you there. Besides, None of us can remember the rules, so it'll be the most uh, unique game of Go Fish you've ever played. Thanks, but I'm good here. All right. We'll make room just in case. Just know that you don't have to play solitaire all the time. I need to see him. I need to see that bastard's face. Oh God, he's dead. I should have stopped you. How could you do this? That man was tied up, defenseless. He got what he deserved. I knew I shouldn't have left you alone with him. I wanted this. I, I did, but seeing him now... I wish I'd been the one to do it. Sam. It was my dad. My family. I should have killed Randall myself. I didn't do it for you. I wanted to kill him. Well, as long as you got what you wanted, right? Sam, calm down. My dad isn't even in the fucking ground yet, and you want me to calm down? I, I didn't mean... He ruined everything. He killed... I know, I know. You don't know. Wait. You hear that? 
answer me. Now. You better fucking pick up this time. Michonne? You don't want to keep me waiting. Enough of this silent treatment. You might be sitting pretty thinking you have the upper hand, but your luck has changed. Michonne and Sadiq. They got the rest of the crew too. Oak and Berto. Look, whatever this bitch asks, don't... Sadiq! Don't worry. They're all in good hands here. But them staying that way is up to you. So listen closely. I'm willing to trade my brother for your friends. But anything you do to Randall, I will do to them. Do you understand? <laughs> Look, you don't owe me anything, but please, we have to get them back. That's my deal, Michonne. Just do what she says. Do you understand? She understands. We'll be there by sunrise. Be ready for us. She's coming here for her brother, and she sees what we did to him. At least he can walk, right? If you can call that walking. Let's just hope she doesn't take it out on my guys. Norma wants her brother. It's not like there's another option here. We just need to fool Norma long enough to get our friends back. Then what? Norma's not gonna leave us alone. She won't stop just because we gave her her brother back. Even if he was alive, we still burned all their shit. So we run. After you trade for your friends, we haul ass to the back gate and get the hell out of here. But she'd take the house. Let her have it. Wouldn't she expect us to run? So what? She knows where we are now. Hiding isn't an option. So let's just go. In my work. We just have to be quick. The minute your guys are inside, we're out of here. I can't fucking listen to this. What? We're not done here. Sam! 
Come. ready to walk away, but I'm not just going to leave him like this. <laughs> we couldn't give my mom a real funeral. My dad and I had to bury her here. Just the two of us. He'd want to be with her. <laughs> we don't have time for this. Not with Norma coming. We have to be ready to leave. I'm not going. What? Sam, you can't still be thinking My that... mom is here, Paige. Everything I have of her. And Greg, if you want to leave, go ahead, but I'm not coming with you. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I, I can't go. This house meant everything to my dad. It's all I have left. I won't force you to leave. If you want to stay, that's up to you. You don't have to leave either. We can defend this house. We can fight them off. No matter what happens, thank you. I owe you my life. Sorry it took me so long to say it. Sam, stop. Please. Maybe I can't help him, but I'm not gonna let Norma take the rest of my family from me. I've got some weapons stashed in my room. Old duffel bag. Should look familiar. You should make sure everyone's armed before Norma gets here. Yeah. I was just... wanted to know what it felt like. I, I wasn't gonna shoot it. Just... And? How does it feel? It's, it's heavy. Empty. Can I help? I want to do something. I don't know if that's such a good idea. Okay. How could they just die like that? Greg and Dad. I, I thought we were safe here. What am I supposed to do? The guy who did it killed my dad. He's gotta, I mean, the things he said, the way he was laughing about dad. You want to hurt him, don't you? Careful. Feelings like that can get you in trouble. I heard you guys talking. 
There's more people coming to the house. Sam's hurt. If, if she, they can't hurt her too. You have to stop them. Your sister's tough. I wouldn't worry about her too much. Here. I, I don't know if I'm ready, you know, to have one. Hang on to this. You don't know when you might need it. Norma's on her way. Things could go wrong in a hurry. I'll be careful. Wish it didn't always come to this. Alex must have drawn this one. I hope he's okay. Hey, Sam. Hey, something you need? Paige thinks we're not safe here. Now we need to move on. But she's trying to convince you to leave, too. She's wanted out of here for a while. I guess she's found her chance. I think Paige was right, Sam. We can't stay here. Think about it. Is this house really worth dying over? It's not just the house. It's just so much of this place is my dad. It's all of us. He worked his way up from nothing. Took a job cleaning houses, paid his way through law school. When he bought this house, it was, it was proof that he'd made a better life for us. We grew up here. I, maybe I'm crazy, but I can't let that all be for nothing. He was so proud of what he built. This place kept us safe. Norma doesn't care about any of that. She's coming here, and she's not gonna stop just because this place has sentimental value. I know. I don't expect you to understand. You found the bag? Yeah, here. Thanks. I should get back to work. Here, Pete. Thanks. Old record player. Right behind you. Is that music?
I know you're scared, but you shouldn't hide. That only makes the bad stuff seem scarier. I'm not leaving. As long as I stay in my fortress, I'm safe. It keeps all the bad stuff out. I put pillows and blankets against the wall. It's nice, but it's not going to protect you from what's out there. It won't? But Dad said... Dad said those things wouldn't get me in here. I know what those monsters out there are. One to go. Grandma told me about them. It's what happens when someone eats another person. Oh? I hadn't heard that one before. Do they scare you too? They make lots of noise. Even at night. The monsters don't scare me. I scare the monsters. Really? Yeah. My dad scares them off too. I've been waiting for him. Where is he? Why didn't he come get me yet? Your dad's not coming. He's dead. What? He got shot outside. No! I don't believe you! I want to see him. Please. The bad man who did it, we got him. It's not going to hurt anyone else. Did my dad be become one of them? It it it's what happens, right? No. He was shot in the head. When someone dies, you put a bullet or something sharp right here. <laughs> and then they don't turn. Okay? It's not fair. <laughs> Two and three checked in. Coming up on the road now. Hey, keep the chatter to a minimum. Our friends are listening. Oh, hey, I, I didn't hear you come in. Here. Were you able to talk some sense into her? Or is she still out there digging a hole in the ground? I've never seen her like this. Relax. I got her to stop. Then what's she still doing out there? She should be packing, getting the kids ready. I don't know why Sam thinks she can protect her brothers here. I'll be out of your hair soon enough. Never belonged here anyway, same as you. That's one thing we got in common. But that's not why you're leaving. I mean, it's part of it. Call it self-preservation, but I've gotten pretty used to knowing when it's time to cut and run. Norma's gonna be here soon. If they're not ready, I won't stick around just to watch this fall apart. She's so stubborn, though. I just hope it doesn't get her killed this time. You're the only one here who can convince Sam to leave. Talk to her. <sighs> I tried. Try again. She needs to be ready to run. And so do the kids. The Fairbanks kept me safe, but... I don't know if I can do the same for them. I'm looking for Alex. Have you seen him? I want him to be there when I say a few words for Dad. Even if I couldn't bury him. He wasn't at Mom's funeral. He should be there for this. Alex asked about his father. So... I told him what happened. Oh, shit. I, uh, I should check on him then. You'll find him in his fortress. I just... I wish he didn't have to see him like this.
Sam? You okay? Greg and Dad? I just... I don't really know what to say. Where am I supposed to start? I don't know. I think it should just be family here. I'll give you a moment. Hey, you okay? Michonne. When you're quiet, it's more like disquiet. Like a storm's on the way. You know I envy them a little. They've managed to hold on to something we all lost a long time ago. Something like normal. I don't know how to describe it. Feels like before. Just a little bit. Whatever normal is, it doesn't exist anymore, no matter how much you want it to. Hey, it's going to be tough leaving this place. I just hope I can convince Sam to go with me. Miss Jones? She's here! We had more time. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. Sam! Just go upstairs with your brother, okay? I need you to hide until I come get you. <sighs> What's gonna happen? He gonna hurt us? Y you'll stop them, right? Right? Stay out of sight and you'll be safe. Norma's not after you. Everything will be fine. Stay together, no matter what. We will. Okay. I can get a clear shot of the front gate from upstairs. I'll cover you. If I can. I hope it doesn't come to that. You better not miss. I hope I don't. Paige, if anything goes wrong, I need you to take care of James and Alex. Don't talk like that. Paige, please. Sam, you know I'll... Grab Randall and meet us outside. It's quiet out there. You ready for this? Anything goes wrong out there. This isn't gonna stay peaceful for long. You ready to fight when I tell you? You got it. It's just me. What the hell is going on here? I had my people hang back a bit. I wanted to talk first. Just us. Clear the air a little. What's your game? No game. I just want to talk. Okay. Start talking. Hey, that is what I'm doing. I didn't come here to fight. Listen. Monroe is gone. Sunk down in the water like... everything I built. You and I... We've each taken from the other. All I want now is my brother back. That's all. And I'll leave you be. He's right here. 
Randall, you okay? <sighs> Just hang on. I got gotcha. you. One good turn. Any minute now. Safe and sound, just like I said. Now, give me Randall, and we can go our separate ways. You can't let her walk away. They burned our homes, murdered Zachary. I know what we've lost, but we'll lose a lot more if we don't end this. Now be quiet. Michonne, please. I just want my brother. Let's be done with this. Deal? You have three of my men. I only have one of yours. Send one of my friends over, and you can have Randall. You get one. That's it. Release that one. This is bullshit! Glad you're safe, man. I made good on my end. Now it's your turn. <laughs> Give me Randall. Oak! Hey! Put the gun down. I could shoot him and still have one more to spare. So you're gonna do what I've asked. Now! I came here willing to talk. But if you're gonna insist on being difficult. You want to try that again? Who gives a shit about Randall? Jonas, don't! If you're not going to punish them for what they've done, I will. We deserve retribution. Not like this. This is for Zachary. No! <laughs> Berto! Everyone put your guns down. Uh, I knew we couldn't trust them. Don't! Stand down! Please, don't hurt him. If you're not gonna do anything, we have to. That's not your call. We have to even things up somehow. I can make this red. Jonas! <laughs> I'll give you that one, all right? We're even. As long as you let Randall go. I'm not gonna ask you again. No one else has to die. Is that a threat? It doesn't need to be. Okay. You can have him. Good. Here we go. This better fucking work. We'll make it work. Randall. Randall, you okay? Oh! 
control now! Get that gate open! Hurry! Stop her! I thought you weren't going to make it for a minute. They stopped firing. They're surrounding the house. We have to get out of here. Where are the boys? Upstairs. Alex. James. Hurry up. Yeah. <sighs> 
not real. None of this is. But I keep seeing you everywhere. I don't know how to make it stop. Just tell me what you want. Michelle, it's Dominic. What's Where the hell are you? Go back your things, okay? We have to go. Where's mommy? We tried to wait. We're, we're, we're heading to Dominic. Dad! She'll be fine. Come on. No, she'll come look for us. We have to be here. Michonne, if you're still... Just stay safe, okay? They need you. Did you... Did you get out? Did you make it? I need to know. See you again. When? I don't know. Soon. Say goodbye, girls. Your mother has to leave. Please, Mama. Stay here with us. She can't. Just let her go. Dominic, please give us a minute. Come on, Alex. What are you doing? <coughs> no. Girls, enough. Let her leave if that's what she wants. Michelle! No, no, no. Don't go. Colette. She can't stay. We can't stay here! It's too late. Your mother already made up her mind. I wish you could come with me.
Sadiq's gonna take a boat down to what's left of Monroe. Salvage what we can. Give them time. They've lost a lot today. We made it out, but they need time to grieve those that did it. Time isn't gonna fix this. It'll be harder out there, without Berto. Might lean on you a bit more. It's not gonna be the same without him. I've been meaning to ask you. When we got separated, I heard you calling for your daughters. What, what happened in there? I tried to find you, but I couldn't. I had to get everyone out and I could just hear you screaming. I saw my daughters. I got to talk to them. But that's not possible, right? For them to be there. I know. Maybe you'd better start thinking about, you know, what if this doesn't go away? Maybe it won't. But this time, when I saw them, I got to tell them how much I love them. I think it's time to stop running. Go back to your group, the people you left. Your family. Before you can't anymore. If I know anything, it's how goddamn impermanent things are these days. Before you know it, they'll be gone. You'll have lost your chance. Don't keep making the same mistake. Come on. to the bone. 